Welcome to Sweet Red Poppy. If you're new here, I'm Kimberly, and I share a new crafting video every single week on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss out on one of my fun crafting episodes. Today we are talking all about how to make core doormats. This is such a trendy project and this tutorial has been requested over and over, so I'm really excited to be sharing it with you. First off, I wanted to thank Joanne for sponsoring this video. All of the supplies I'm using in today's video can be found online at joanne.com or inside your local Joanne store. While I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker for this project, you can use any cutting machine for this project. For this project, you will need the following supplies. A Cricut machine, a blank core doormat, freezer paper, a 12 by 24 inch light grip mat, a stencil brush, acrylic paint, flat head pins, Mod Podge, an iron, or an easy press. I've linked all of the materials I'm using in the description located below. Here's a little background on this type of doormat. Core mats are made from the fibers of the outer shell of a coconut, and that's what gives it that really coarse feeling. It's a natural fiber, which makes it easy to clean with either a vacuum or warm water. Let's go ahead and get started on this project. Step one, download the SVG file. Let's begin by downloading the SVG hello file linked in the description of this video. Open it up in Design Space and resize it to fit your mat. I want to make my image take up as much space as possible on my mat, so I'm going to change the size to around 22 inches in length. Go ahead and click Make It, center your image on the canvas, and press Continue. You'll want to set your base material as freezer paper and make sure that you've loaded your fine point blade. Step two, cut your freezer paper. Now let's work on using our freezer paper. The nice thing about using freezer paper is it's very inexpensive, so you can easily make multiple mats or you could use the rest of this roll for another project. It features a shiny waxed side which allows the material to temporarily fuse to our mat, which makes it perfect for stenciling. What you'll want to do is place your freezer paper, shiny side facing downwards, on a light grip mat. I like to roll my sheet up and place it on the mat. Place the mat into your machine and load your mat, then press the flashing Cricut button to start cutting. Remove the mat once it's finished cutting. With a weeding tool, remove the letters from the design. You'll want to keep the small pieces from the inside of the letters in place on the mat. Gently remove the freezer paper from the mat. Place the stencil with the shiny side facing down on top of your core doormat. Make sure the design is centered from side to side and from top to bottom. Once you're happy with the placement of the mat, use a few flat head pins to tack it in place. Step three, iron your freezer paper. Heat up your easy press to around 300 degrees or your iron to its highest heat setting and make sure that the seam is turned off. Now it's time to adhere the freezer paper onto the mat using either an iron or an easy press. I'm using my largest easy press to cover as much surface area as possible with each press. I typically press each section for about 20 to 30 seconds until I see that the freezer paper has begun to adhere to the fibers of my mat. Four, paint your stencil. With a stencil brush, dab the paint straight up and down along the inside of your stencil. Make sure that you aren't applying the paint at an angle as that could really lead to the paint bleeding right underneath your stencil. Cover the entire design and allow the paint about 10 to 15 minutes drying time before layering on a second application of paint. If needed, you can always go back and add a third layer to get a really vibrant and bold result.
This next step is optional. Apply a layer of Mod Podge outdoor sealant to your project to help it stand up to the harsh outdoor weather. Allow your paint to dry completely. Now it's time to remove the stencil and reveal our finished doormat. I love how this project turned out and I can't wait to set it outside of my front door. Thanks so much for tuning into Sweet Red Poppy today to learn how to make this doormat. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Sweet Red Poppy. Do you have a Cricut loving friend who needs this tutorial? Make sure to share it with them. If there's a crafting tutorial that you want to see next, let me know in the comments below.